What is going on everyone? Tim from Tierfon Orbital. It's me. It's always going to be me. I don't know why I still introduce myself. It's clearly in the description of the video and this is my account. So if you don't know it's me by now, I, I don't know what else to say in the beginning. Anyhow, so I would like to go over a little bit in depth uh, install commission that I completed recently on a Phoenix Props the Light. So the name of the hilt is The Light. It is based on Ben Solo's hilt. Uh, it is from Phoenix Props. This is actually the first time that I have done an install on this hilt. So there are some interesting things going on with the chassis as far as animations are concerned. Um, so I do want to go over that. And of course, I do want to talk about the chassis in detail as well. So we're going to come into Fusion and take a look at the chassis. Then we'll come up top and then we'll put a bleed in it and do a demo. And then I'll let you go uh, because it's probably getting boring at this point. It's the same thing. Every video is the same thing. So anyhow, let's come into Fusion and talk about this chassis because I really am happy with how the chassis came out on this. So let's come into Fusion. Okay, so here is the chassis that I have designed for this hilt in typical Tierfon orbital fashion. There is an inordinate amount of greeblies on each side of this chassis. I have also put a vent that cleverly hides a 2020 NeoPixel strip that goes down this channel. These two channels are my wire passages. They come up to the board here. We've got a 28 millimeter speaker at the bottom. I have also added a 2020 NeoPixel strip in this channel. Uh, so essentially the chassis is an all-in-one chassis, obviously. It does it is it stays in the hilt, but I've wired up my PCB up here as well, my PCB emitter. Uh, but there's a 2020 NeoPixel strip here and it it's offset underneath this channel, underneath the upper section of the hilt. I am doing a terrible job at describing how this looks, but obviously when we do an up close, uh, you'll see we get some interesting animation uh, from up underneath the upper section of the hilt, right? Profi board sits in here. There is a kill switch at the bottom of the profi board as well. And that's it, right? This channel or trough that is here is how I bring my switch leads up to the switches in this hilt, right? And that's it. Very, very uh, relatively straightforward design. I wanted to, I actually tried doing this uh, with a hilt a couple of months ago. Uh, and unfortunately, that just like space requirements did not uh, make it possible. So I wanted to try doing something different uh, with some animation up underneath the upper section of the hilt, right? So anyway, let's come up top and take a look at that actually. Okay, so this is the light from Phoenix Props. I have already taken the grip off, right? Let's talk about the chassis first. So I have done a pass of pewter rub and buff on this chassis. I did paint some of the accent greeblies along each side of the kill switch. I always find that adding a little bit of color to a chassis makes it a little bit more unique and makes it pop. Um, so I've done that. Pewter rub and buff. I've got a 28 millimeter speaker down here. I have sealed off each of the terminals. I just use black uh, liquid electrical tape to, to seal off those just to keep a nice tight vacuum around that speaker. It helps the speaker to perform a little bit more efficiently. It sounds better in my opinion, right? PCB emitter is up here and that's it. Okay, so to use this guy, I wanna put a battery in it. Bef uh, I wanna turn it on before I put the grip on, right? So spring side is your negative. Take the flat part of your battery, rest it in that battery tray. So every time I use this particular font, I can't remember what the name of it is. It scares me because I'm afraid that there's something going on with the speaker, but that's just what the font sounds like when you turn it on. So there we've got some animation up inside of this lip. So it looks like the inside of the blade or the inside of the hilt has got some light coming down from it, right? I just wanted to do something different up there, right? And there is that NeoPixel strip along the side. Okay, so once you get your battery in and you turn it on, this is a set screw grip. So you wanna, what I do is I look where this notch is, 
line that notch up with these switches and it'll just kind of rest in place. Look down in this hole and make sure everything is lined up correctly. Right? And then you want to add your set screw. I'm only going to put one set screw in here. There are three that go around the whole hilt. But just for the demo, I'm going to do one, right? And then you're ready to go. Let's come down to the bottom. So if you are looking at these switches, this lower switch is your aux. Upper switch is your main. PCB emitter is from Stardust Sabers. The NASA team is ready for launch. All right, so let's put a blade in it. Okay, so this is a one inch blade blade holder. There is a set screw in the emitter just right here. You want to tighten that set screw so it's just hugging your blade and you're ready to go. Watch my fan. Let's see what else we put on here. Really unique looking hilt. Even though it is thick, I do I do like the way that this hilt looks. I prefer this one to uh, Kylo's Kylo's hilt, right? And it's obviously reminiscent of his his hilt. Right? So anyhow, that's it. That's all I've got. Those are my quick thoughts on the light from Phoenix Props. I'm really happy with how, how this chassis came out. So to the client, thank you very much for trusting me with your install. If anyone has any questions about this particular hilt or the chassis, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.